it was a pretty disappointing season to say mm. the least. It just Mother Nature really never cooperated uh, with the snowmobile community and um, th throughout Ontario for that matter. Um, as of right now, I think the la one of the pretty well, almost all the provinces now um, shut down for the season. Just the clubs just they just they fought Mother Nature from the beginning right to the to the end of it. Mm. As evidence now, like it's first week in March and there's basically no snow left. And this bad season ends up impacting not just the community, but the local economy as well. Um, economically to the, the local communities, I know Muskoka certainly relies on the winter tourism. Um, last, the one report that I had read, winter snowmobiling in Muskoka generates somewhere around $30 million a year into the local communities. That's a lot of money that supports the restaurants, the hotels, the gas stations, and a lot of businesses that you may not think of. Guy comes into town, needs to use the local mechanic shop, um, the grocery stores. It just, it spirals right down the whole chain. And, you know, I, I feel for the local restaurants and businesses that, you know, relied on, who were hoping for a really good winter season. And, you know, that trails either never open period or that were very limited and short time. There's also the amount of prep work that goes into ensuring a safe and successful snowmobile season that basically goes to waste when there's no opportunity to use these trails. Uh, it's the, uh, I have to give a shout out to all the District 7 Muskoka clubs. We, we work throughout the year, even when the season shuts down now, mm -hmm. there's preparations we made for next season as far as any trail improvements. Um, we're dealing with landowners, um, just assessing infrastructure, bridges, trails that maybe anything that can be done and then as we get into the season we're you know we get into where we're boots on the ground and checking the trail system out doing the brushing any trees that have maybe fallen down mm -hmm. um, water cross things that have to be addressed um, and then we get into normal on a normal season when the mother nature's cooperating and we get to where the conditions are ideal um, and then we have to do inspections you know you're checking all the lake crossings to make sure so it's there's a huge amount of work that gets involved to even get to the point where we can potentially have a trail that's available but he's hopefully optimistic about what next winter will bring this is just a blip in the system mm -hmm. i think last year last year was not as bad as this year um, i'm very hopeful that going into next year that we'll have a turnaround it's if you look at the cycles of the weather it does happen where we get a year or two of some very unseasonable weather and you know i think the whole snowmobile community will hope and pray that Next year is a banner year for us and we can get back to business as usual.